Stop! Ezio, Auditore! You who arrested Cesare Borgia, who stopped the spread of Roman ignorance, convince our friend Leonardo to open the temple and usher in the golden age of mankind. Should I persuade our friend by kicking him? Or would you rather I use my knife? On the contrary, there is nothing I would like more than an amiable solution. Help Leonardo see reason. With the Pythagorean Unifar, we will remake humanity together. Not under my tree. Then the revolution will begin without you. Ucciderlo! Don't let him escape! Leonardo, I must know! Now, Fratelli! Please, for the future of mankind! Tell me! Very foolish. Stay away from me, assassino! We are all the same underneath, yet these people persist in their witch hunts! You... an assassin? The enemy of knowledge? One must choose to search for truth. Forcing it on others accomplishes little. These lost people... Warring kingdoms... I would have ended their suffering. Che tu possa conoscere la verità nella morte. Reguiescat in pace. Come, let us leave this place. We cannot, Ezio. Not without reaching the final room of the temple. You are hurt. I will be fine. If that number is left intact, we risk another madman discovering it. Well, let's just say with the lightest criticism I can muster that getting the quest done in Da Vinci Disappearance was a hell of a lot more fun than dealing with the eventual villain. For the entirety of the quest, Ezio has been saddled in a rivalry with the Hermeticists, this bonkers cult that wear orange lion suits to every one of their battles and duel with quite a lot of ferocity. For Assassin's Creed goons, they are quite skilled with a sword, making their counterattacks slightly more than a three-year-old can handle. Ezio still tosses them on the floor with the quickest of ease, but it is nice to see Ubisoft putting forth all this effort on its paid DLC, while the Copernicus conspiracy flounders to get... Well, anywhere. There was a lot of weird, covert stuff Ezio had to do once he and Da Vinci's... Um... House servant guy figured out that da vinci somehow left clues to finding his kidnappers on some paintings he was working on Ezio had to beat up borgia's daughter in her house reacquaint an old friend with his fists and even attend an art gallery to select portraits to quote unquote purchase at a reasonable fee 
It was quite a lot of fun, some nice challenges, and since the missions were so unique from the rest of the game, the player is more immersed and engaged in the experience, whereas the main campaign missions are almost immediately forgotten upon completion. Ezio now has the map to Da Vinci being held in an ancient Roman temple of Pythagoras for some bizarre reason, being held by a surprise villain, Ercole Massimo. Head of the Hermeticists, and despite looking like a bad Attila cosplayer, he's only being introduced now in a single scene of this DLC. It's no wonder he isn't a threatening villain, especially since his final gambit upon being discovered was to send in yet another horde of Hermeticists who were beaten entirely inside of two minutes because AC combat universally sucks ass. Then Ercole does himself negative favors by ending his life actually cowering in the corner. Once Ezio beats the Hermeticist and climbs up onto the wall Ercole and Da Vinci are on, all Ercole does is begging for his life on his knees. Not fighting you, not trying to deceive Ezio to drop his guard, he just sits there and waits for Ezio to hit him in the neck with some metal. I was actually flabbergasted to see even a villain in an Assassin's Creed game die like such a pathetic baby. A baby would have at least struggled against their murderer instead of a grown-ass cult leader and rich person like Ercole who welcomes it with open fucking arms. You probably would have been better off giving one of the Hermeticist soldiers a comical mustache and have him be the ultimate bad guy if this is all you are going to do with your story's antagonist. Nothing would have actually been a better idea than casting Ercole Massimo, and there's nothing more facepalm deserving than that. 